Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of a application demo slash review of the Smashbox Ablaze palette. I went through a lot of effort to get this baby, I was tweeting Smashbox, like when is it coming back? And then I finally got it and I'm so happy that I got it. It's they've got this kind of holographic front which is really cool. And these are all warm tones, it kind of suits the name kind of like Ablaze, you think of flames, fire, warm colours. So these are kind of yeah, so you've got sort of like rusty colours, you've got some nice warm golds in here. And I think this is really suited for my personal preference. These are the kind of colours that I really like. So if you stay tuned and watch the rest of the video, and maybe this could be the new palette for you. And I think it's, you've done a really good job, Smashbox. I think Smashbox just constantly is up in their game. Every time they bring out something new, I'm just thinking, they just seem to be doing a really good job with it. I really need to try their liquid lipsticks because I've heard that they're good as well. Okay, enjoy the video. Bye. Okay, so to start off this eye look, I'm just going in with this light matte sort of base colour. Depending on your skin tone, this could be like a base colour or a highlight or both, just depending. And I'm just taking this on this fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of apply this all over the lid. As you can see, it's sort of a very light sort of cream colour. And it's just going to kind of mattify the area and aid blending any other colours that we like put on top of it. By the way, that colour I just used is called Relaxed. The shade names are on the side of the little box I've got there. Um, so next we're going to go in with... Is it on the back of the box as well? Oh, they're on the back of the actual packaging. <laughs> okay, um, next I'm going to go in with Throwback, I believe it's called. Which is kind of this sort of matte burnt orange, kind of like rusty colour. I really love colours like this. It's quite similar to... Railgar in the um, Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to take this on this Eco Tools brush, which is kind of like a round crease brush, and I'm just going to pop this through my crease. These colours really blend oh, so nicely. Like you don't have to put in a lot of effort with these. I think I think they're so worth the price as well, especially when you consider. I think they're twenty four pounds, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight colours in there. Um, I just think you've got to find one that you think you'd use all the shades in and then that would be like so worth it. Okay, so I've just applied that colour and I'm just kind of blending it with this Spectrum C06 brush that I've got in my birch box. Um, this is really good for sort of like blending colour in the crease. I would definitely recommend this brush if you wanted a really good, a really good one for blending out eyeshadow. It really does, it really does help the way your eyeshadow looks. Okay, so I'm just taking that same colour on the same brush and I'm just sort of like building it up again a little bit more because um, I want it to be quite um, intense up in the crease. The good thing about these eyeshadows is because they blend so well you can kind of have them, you know, really like intense or you could have them a bit lighter. Just It just depends on how much you put on really. They're quite sort of versatile because they, they work, you know, it's not that you've got to put loads on, blend it out, put more on, blend it out. It, they work quite well. No matter how much you use, really. Okay, so there's the crease all done. And now I want to go in with this really beautiful, like, goldy copper sparkle colour. And that one is... Um, it's called Torch. Yeah, Torch. That's appropriately named, isn't it? That is just such a beautiful colour. These are the kind of colours for the lid that I really like. It's kind of like a... A coppery gold sort of shade. So I'm just going to take this on this little number seven brush, and I'm just going to apply this on the lid. And the other good thing about these eyeshadows is that they don't have a lot of fallout, even though they're really sort of intense shimmers and they're really buttery mattes. They don't kind of go everywhere. I mean, there's a tiny bit, but that's only to be expected because they're, you know, smooth and buttery. But all things considered, they don't they're not messy shadows, I wouldn't say. Okay, so now I'm just further blending with that same brush that had the matte throwback colour on it, and I'm just sort of going back through the crease just to make sure everything's blended together. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip this brush over and use this sort of flat side to go underneath the eye, and I'm gonna go back in with that um throwback colour. I've just done the other eye. I'm not going to bring it down too far, but um, it's up to you really. I just don't think it really suits me to bring my eyeshadow down too far, but if you wanted to really smoke it out, then you could go ahead and do that. Okay, now I'm going to take this little tiny Real Techniques accent brush, 
I'm going to take this um, lighter gold colour and kind of dot between that one and this pink colour to highlight the inner corner with. That one on the far right is a far right? Yeah, far right. That's like a really pretty rose gold colour. That one is called Siesta. I love the names of these, they're so cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this clean Spectrum CO6 brush. I'm going back in with that um, original light matte colour. I'm just going to dust off my brush quite a bit because I don't want too much. I'm just going to apply this just under the brow. That will just kind of like blur out that harsh, harsh edge. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the darkest colour in this palette, which is called Dark Horse, which is this sort of, um, yeah, just kind of like a chocolatey brown. I'm going to take on that same rounded brush, but I just want to apply this very lightly to the outer corner. Okay, so I've just applied that colour, I'm just blending out a little bit more. See, I think the name of this palette, the Ablaze palette, is definitely fitting, because it really does give your eyes this sort of like, you know, fiery sort of sort of look. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I think these colours will work really well together with each other. Now, as you can see, where I've added that dark colour, it's blended into that kind of orangey rust colour really, really easily. Yeah, and I wanted to do kind of like a warm tone look today, so I've added um, a little bit of sort of contour, and I'm wearing this is Becca Opal, which I don't usually wear. That's the one that's like smash, which is really sad. But um. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty much done with the eyeshadow portion of this tutorial at the moment. Because I've used most of the colours in here, but the others I probably couldn't add into this look. If you wanted me to do another tutorial, maybe using some of the other colours, um, I could definitely do that. Because I really like this sort of berry tone. What is it called? I think it's Nirvana, that's it. This beautiful sort of berry colour. That's got a bit of shimmer in it, but it's not really picking up. There you go. Yeah, that's a really, really nice colour. Okay, so I've just used my Ziva Cat Eye Pen and a bit of Roller Lash Mascara. I'm just wearing um, Jeffree Star Androgyny. I think it goes quite well with this eye look. If you want to do sort of like a, you know, if you like warm tones, I think you quite enjoy this. So let's get into my little review here. So basically with this palette, I think you can create some really cohesive and really beautiful looks. And I don't think that this is expensive. I think this is really worth the price. I'm not sure what the pan sizes are because the modern renaissance, I seem to get through that really quickly. And I've been using this a lot, but I haven't really made a significant dent in any of the colours so far. Um, I would say that, I don't know, personally, I would like it if this colour was actually matte. And so you had a light matte brown in here because... You're only transitional, if you have to use, I think most people like using matte colours in their crease. So then you've only really got these two and you could probably get away with using this one in your crease as well. Because this is matte but this is, you know, a light cream colour and most people couldn't really use that as a transitional shade. Um, but saying that, I do think that this is a very versatile colour because you can really build it up to be as sort of deep as it is in the pan. Or you can use a very light hand and just use it for... You know, you can, it can be a softer sort of colour if you want it to be. I think the golds in here are absolutely beautiful. These two colours here I really like. I really like this rose gold colour. I just wish it maybe was a little bit more... I don't know, a little bit more sparkly? It doesn't seem to show up that much on me, but maybe that's just because of my skin tone. Um, but this palette has been out of, in and out of stock. I'm not sure if it's in stock on the Smashbox website at the moment, that's where I ordered mine from and it came pretty quickly. The shipping was really good and it was packaged up great and they always send you a few free samples as well so that's always nice. But I would do think that these palettes are worth the money, well this one in particular is anyway. I know some of the others might be more appropriate depending on your preferences with colour um, because some of them have some more sort of lighter pastel shades and then there's one that's sort of more of a smoky sort of look. But I would definitely recommend these. I might be getting another one depending on the colours. I think I might have to have more of a look and decide if it would be worth it to me to buy another one. Okay, I'm just going to warn you, I'm not a pro at filming swatches. I don't have the best setup here for it. But I've swatched these colours and for the shimmers I used a sort of flat brush like this. 
and for the matte I used a sort of fluffy brush this is from Smashbox I've primed my arm with this Smashbox 24 hour primer and I've been cleaning my brush off with this little shade swap um, from W7 I believe it's just kind of a knockoff of the Vera Mona colour switch okay so <laughs> this is hard to show here are the colours this is from lightest to sort of darkest going through the palette so uh, this one down here this is relax which is sort of that light sort of cream colour then you have moccasin which is this sort of brownish gold tone then this one is siesta which is that kind of like rose gold colour this one is Nirvana. That next one is Delirious, which is that sort of brownie colour with a hint of sort of pink to it. Then you've got that beautiful copper goldy colour, which is called Torch. Then you've got Throwback, that nice rusty brown. And then you've got Dark Horse just on the top. So these are all brush swatches, but I do find that these shadows perform well with a finger as well. Okay, so there are the swatches. I apologise that they're not the best. I might try and take a better photo and I could put that on my Instagram. Um, I think if you're interested in this palette, it is a really, really good buy and I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, I do wish they had one more matte colour in here, but that's just my own personal preference. I do think it's really worth the money and it's definitely, you know, cohesive. You can get a lot of different looks out of this, I think. Okay, so this is a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed this kind of, like application tutorial slash review um i'd really appreciate it if you liked and commented and if you'd like to then please subscribe okay thank you for watching see you later bye